Hi, my name is Alex Williams, and I'm an assistant professor at the University of Tennessee at Knoxville. Today, I'm presenting the work that was done alongside Shamsi Iqbal, Julie Kisaleva, and Ryan White, all of who belong to Microsoft Research. The title of this presentation is Managing Tasks Across the Work-Life Boundary, Opportunities, Challenges, and Directions. In the context of the new future of work, our work takes the position that helping people manage tasks has become more important than ever before. Prior work includes a wealth of qualitative and ethnographic examinations of task management practice. It also includes large-scale log studies of tool use, such as log analyses of personal assistance. Within this broader space, one particular scenario that remains less understood is how digital and physical tools alike aid people in tending to tasks that arise within and across the work-life boundary. For example, an untimely thought related to an ongoing software project may arise during family time. Similarly, an idea related to one's personal sphere may temporarily cause an individual to interrupt their work-related activities. With this in mind, our inquiry is driven with one central question. How do people manage tasks across the work-life boundary? We deployed an online survey to 150 information workers at a large technology corporation during summer 2019 to address this question. The survey was composed of four stages. One, demographics, in which we asked about age, gender, and job role. Two, general task management practices, in which participants reported the tools they use and how generally they use them. Three, cross-boundary task management, in which participants reflected on the last time they managed a work task during personal time or vice versa. And finally, the work-life indicator, a 17-item survey instrument that classifies how people integrate or separate their work-related and personal spheres. Through our survey, we identified trends in tool use for work and non-work, specifically noting that certain combinations of tools for each scenario are more frequently reported by participants. We find that cross-boundary task management itself is common practice, with upward of 77% of participants reporting they occasionally manage personal activities during work time, and 72% of participants suggesting the same for managing work-related activities during personal time. Finally, we find that people have clear visualizations of how they like to see their task management tools take shape to confront the problems they experience in managing tasks across the work-life boundary. This includes accelerated capture tools, such as tools that allow people to capture fleeting information quickly, application design and integration, management automation opportunities, and explicit boundary support tools. The broader impact of our findings is that they provide a baseline for understanding how the nature of work has deviated from what it once normally was. The current pandemic has had an unquestionable impact on information workers and their ability to integrate or separate their work and personal spheres as they practiced beforehand. Our work draws specific attention to task management tools as a landmark frontier for innovation and exploration in aiding people in interleaving their work and personal activities to match the changing nature of work today. We're currently in the process of redeploying our own survey to better understand how these practices have shaped or been shaped by the current pandemic and we encourage others to take action in this area of rich opportunity. For more information, please see our paper published on the symposium webpage. Thank you for listening.